Alright guys, Freedom for Taz here. Hey guys, since I'm here in Michigan, I uh, I hear the local news and I, I can compare to what I get online and kind of decipher between what's right and what's not. I've got this story here in front of me and the oil spill in Michigan here is, is really getting out of control. Now I'm going to provide some links underneath, but one link, there's a ready discrepancy as to how much oil is actually linked into the, um, the Kalamazoo River. Now, to give you an idea as to where it's at, where the actual spill is, the oil spill started in the Tom, Tomaraj Creek. I'm going to spell it for you. It's T A L M A D G E. Tal Talmadge Creek, which then flows northwestward into the Kalamazoo River. Okay, the Kalamazoo River connects to Lake Michigan. Now there are conflicting reports here. The the oil cleanup people are saying, well, we're going to have it contained and it's not going to get to Lake Michigan. Our governor, Governor Granholm, is very concerned that it is going to get into Lake Michigan. And honestly, quite frankly, so am I. Because another discrepancy here is that um, Enbridge, which is the company that owns the pipeline, another oil company, they say that 840,000 gallons has spilled into this creek, which then flew, flows into the Kalamazoo River. But now the EPA says that 1 million gallons has gone into the creek and then into the Kalamazoo River. Now, where this is, it is quite a distance from Lake Michigan, granted. But the problem is, is that this oil spill has already traveled about 35 miles westward towards Lake Michigan. And it's traveled 35 miles in like two days. So, this is pretty much a swift flowing current. I mean, it's not blazingly fast, but it's, it's quick enough to move the oil that fast and the oil came from a 30 inch wide pipeline which is a massive pipeline the pipeline itself is 3300 miles it enters the united states of north dakota comes across the entire midwest it goes through minnesota wisconsin illinois indiana michigan and goes uh back through ohio i do believe and then it goes back into canada by ontario and ends up making its way to to Montreal. Well, this, this, this pipeline is, is crazy. I don't understand why it goes that far, but anyway, it does. But here's my point. Catching some of the local news, the reason why this is such a problem is that the creek that the spill originated in is only about 7 to 10 feet wide. So if you could imagine putting a million gallons of oil in a creek that's 7 to 10 feet wide, you can see how fast it's going to fill up. Secondly, there are reports tonight by, by the local news stations that they are considering doing a 30-day evacuation of the houses that are along the creek and along the Kalamazoo River. Now, mind you, okay, let's compare this to the Gulf crisis. They haven't evacuated anybody, okay, but this oil is actually already in these people's backyard, okay, it's already there. These people can walk out of their backyards, go to the creek, and the oil is there, okay? Unlike in the Gulf of, of Mexico, the oil was in the middle of the Gulf. But still, I those people are eventually going to be evacuated if they haven't left already. Now, like I said, I am from Michigan, and I am getting some of the uh, stories here myself. Actually, I got another link here. I'm going to pop up real quick here. And uh, give me one second. This will load. But... Uh, this is from the, the Bellingham Herald, and it says 25 miles of the Kalamazoo is already affected by the oil leak, says the EPA. Well, I know I found another story, and it, it was already 35 miles, and it's actually, it's, it's going to, um, there's a lake, and I, you know, I wish I could find the name of that lake. I might add it in, and I'll add it in in the, um, under, underneath. But uh, it's already moved 35 miles from east to west because this, this river runs east to west. 
and it's just it, it's amazing. They're already talking about evacuations of people that live on the river and live on this creek. So people, this is a major major crisis. This is a big deal. I will try and stay on top of it as best as I can. Um, I'm I'm about three hours away from the spill itself. That's about where I'm at. So I'm three hours east of the spill. But uh, I wish I could actually drive over there and, and take a look at it myself. But with I got things going on this weekend already. I can't I can't break away from that. But uh, I will keep you guys posted as best as I possibly can. Um, other than that, follow the links and let's keep our heads high. Let's do let's do our research. This is a major major deal. The EPA says over a million gallons has been spilled already. The the one prospect that is possible good news is that they've shut down the pipeline. So they're saying that no more oil is going to leak into the creek. Well, even so, the damage is already done. Okay, you're going from a seven to ten foot creek into a major river. If this gets into Lake Michigan, I guarantee you folks, the Michigan Great Lakes and all the surrounding areas, Illinois, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Canada, yeah, we're all in for some big trouble, partner. We need to get this taken care of now. Okay, I understand this could turn into a Gulf of Mexico problem. It could, it could become that large. Seriously, it could. If that oil gets into Lake Michigan, we all could be all done.